Hey y'all, welcome back to this week's uh, cooking idea. This week, you guys, I am gonna be showing you guys how I make a Cajun double eggs. Cajun double eggs, guys, I am gonna intertwine eggs, kind of like if you would make a double egg, but we're gonna be adding shrimp into our eggs. Most people probably have never tried it that way. Typically, you would see your double egg just with the uh, egg, the parsley, the paprika, but this time we're gonna do something different. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add shrimp over into our double eggs. So if you're interested to see how I make my Cajun double eggs, stay tuned. Since these are a little bit of eggs I already had left over, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tackle these. We're gonna go ahead and use these. I may not need all of them, but we're gonna go ahead and use um, two, four, six, eight, uh, ten. So I think I'm probably gonna use about ten of them. Um, yeah, so let's get started. What I don't use, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them back over into my fridge because I don't need all these eggs. <laughs> oh, you wanna fill your pot halfway with water like so. You wanna bring your pot over to the stove, typically what I do, and I go ahead and turn it on a high a high heat, medium to high, that way it'll go ahead and begin uh, the boiling process. You wanna boil your eggs about 15, 20 minutes, um, and once they start boiling, then um, we're gonna go ahead and shut our stove off and we're gonna pre uh, begin to prepare uh, our Cajun double eggs. Okay, you guys, this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to um, go ahead and pop these. The, the easy thing about these, you guys, we're not going to um, do a shrimp where we have to go boil it ourselves. We already have these bad boys here that's already uh, pre-cooked for you. You can either put them in your um, saute pan, saute them up. But today, we're going to make it easy. We're going to make it quick. Because don't forget, on this channel, we try to do everything really quick, really simple. But yet, everything is also tasty. So we're going to get these over, pop these over into our microwave. Here is telling us for about mm, five minutes or so. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna get them back out and we're gonna go ahead to uh, begin prepping our uh, double eggs. Thank you. 
Okay, y'all, so I have finished my eggs. They are ready here. I am gonna begin the peeling process of the eggs. Um, yeah. So I have about 10 eggs that we're gonna go ahead and get cracked. I did put them in cold water and let's see if we can get them peeled easily. <laughs> they are still super hot. Oh, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So we have one pill so far. <laughs> they're hot. Guys, be sure to let your eggs cool. Don't start peeling them while they're uh, hot because they are really burning my hands. Ooh. Okay, so we have peeled our eggs right here. Gonna go ahead and we have our shrimp ready to go. You guys can see that, they smell amazing. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get them cut. So you just wanna cut them in half the long way. We have our two portions here, okay. Next, what I typically do is I go ahead and I take my yolk out and I just uh, plop it over into my bowl. And I just typically repeat this process until I am um, done with all of the eggs. And remember, guys, you want to make sure your eggs is cut the long way. You guys can see that yolk is just going right over into the bowl because this is going to be our filling or our mixture for our um, Cajun double eggs. I've never really um, made occasion double eggs. I typically make double eggs um, for the holidays and stuff, but I never make occasion double eggs with the shrimp on top or whatever. So we, we kind—it's like kind of like we're doing this together. Um, so yeah. See how easy that plops right out of there. Okay, next step, I have uh, sliced the eggs. Whoops. <laughs> I have put the egg yolk in the bowl. Next thing you next thing you want to do um, is go ahead and get your mayo. And I'm going to get a couple spoons of this. Let's say one, two, three. I'm going to start off with three and we're just going to um, add as we go. So I have three big spoons of mayo. I'm gonna go ahead and put a squirt of my mustard, yellow mustard. If you wanna put uh, a sprinkle or two of, I'm not the type you guys to measure stuff. I guess I just boom, boom, boom. Um, so I just did a, a shake of my uh, pepper. I'm gonna do a shake of my parsley. I am going to do a shake of my paprika. Boom, 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 like so. I also have onion powder, same thing, a shake of that. Okay. And then I am going to do, I would equate it to a pinch of salt. If you was to put this salt in your hand, like a pinch of salt, not too much because we're not looking for salty eggs. <laughs> okay. If you guys can see that, and we're just going to mix this up. To break your eggs apart, I'm just um, kind of smashing the, the yolk into the uh, mayo to mash them up. If you need more mayo, go ahead and just add uh, mayo as you are mixing. So what you're looking for is like a paste. What you want your um, your mixture to be is like a paste 
Oh, you don't want it watery and you don't want it too thick and dry. So once I get this mixed up, I'm gonna um, show you guys. You want to get as much of a lumps out of your mixture as you can okay um i think i'm gonna add just a little pinch a little pinch more of the mayo just like so not too much nice and creamy is what you're looking for a nice creamy uh consistency just like so boom okay I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put just a tad, another pinch of my um, onion powder. And remember guys, you can always add, but you can never take out. So you don't wanna overdo it. I know a lot of people um, have they pre um, already prep spices into little bowls and they just pull. Um, I just always been the type, I just like to add as I go. That way I can control and know um, what I'm putting in. Cause again, like I said, you can always add. I put more par parsley and I'm putting um, another shake of the paprika. You can always add, but you can't take out what you've already put in. And then another shake of the pepper, okay? Like so, and mix. Okay, there we have it. The next thing we're gonna do, you guys, is we have some um, hot sauce, Louisiana hot sauce. We're gonna just do a pinch of Louisiana hot sauce. To your to your liking <laughs> if you don't like a lot of hot spicy stuff you okay don't don't put too much so if you see it i think about three or four uh big drops of it you're gonna mix that in here okay just to give it like a little kick if you like a a, a hot hot um if you can stand that then hey you put however much you want <laughs> it's to your your whatever you like your liking okay So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my shrimp, as you can see here. Um, let me grab another spoon. You're gonna grab your shrimp and you're gonna get some of that shrimp uh, broth, shrimp juice. You guys can see that shrimp juice. It has a lot of different herbs and let me get close. You guys can see what I'm talking about. You guys can see that it has herbs already in there. We're gonna get a spoonful of that and we're gonna add it over into our mixture. Maybe a little, a little, another little drip of it. Okay. We're gonna set that aside. I'm gonna show you guys just what I've done. You guys can see that I just added that that um, shrimp juice over into our mixture. Then we're gonna stir that up. So what you have now, you should have a nice. Um, shrimpy um filling you have your hot sauce in there and now we're going to go and we're going to begin to add this to our eggs let's move this out the way okay now here comes the fun part you, you guys so we're going to slide this over here we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab each of our eggs and we're going to begin putting our batter inside our egg what we're going to do, we're going to move this so we can have some space here. Like so. Okay. And you're just going to keep going. You're going to keep repeating this step until all of your mixture is done. If you have a piping bag, um, that may work a little bit better than just spooning it in, but I don't have a piping. You know, I may have one, but it's somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere. Okay. So we're just going to keep going until you've filled all of your eggs. You guys can see what I'm doing. If you all can smell, it smells so good. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. Okay.
Okay, so our last and final step, y'all. What we are gonna do now, and now comes the fun part, okay? If you guys thought the other part was light work, but now comes the fun part. So now we're gonna take our, our um, I wish I could eat one of these, but if I eat one of it, there's gonna be one less that we have for our, <laughs> one less we have for our Cajun shrimp, I mean our Cajun eggs. So we're gonna go ahead and get some of this sauce on top of the, the shrimp. And what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna go ahead, first let's go ahead and do our, um, I, I call it the decoration part. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get our paprika and we're gonna sprinkle on top of our eggs just to give them a little um, one, two, boom, like that, okay? Okay, we got our paprika on there. Next, we're gonna get a little bit of our parsley and we're gonna do the same thing. I call dressing them up. <laughs> we're gonna dress our eggs up, okay? Our final step, guys, is the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in with our shrimp and we're gonna add one of these shrimp to, um, each, well, we're not, not going to do each egg simply because some people may not like um, that seafood taste on their stuff. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a shrimp to, I would say, half of these. Like so. It looks yummy already. It looks yummy already. To be honest, I'm really kind of making these for my um, daughter, Ty. She loves devil eggs, so I'm kind of making these for her. I like devil eggs too. Um, of course, you, you guys know um, Trinity. You guys definitely know Carter. He um, he don't really like them. Uh, Trina don't really like them, but Tony loves devil eggs, so she'll probably be the one eating these. <laughs> but that's okay. It's fun. I, I love I love 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 uh, preparing different stuff, and a lot of times the kids they don't like a lot of different stuff. And I get, a, I don't really get a chance to make and try new stuff. So when I get somebody who say, hey, make me this, I, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. So let's do, we have one more shrimp left. Boom. And that's it. That is it. Okay. So now we're going to hold them up. And I'm going to let you see just how they came out. You guys can see. Let's drop this a little bit so you can see better. You guys can see that. Delicious. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed um, today's uh, video with the Cajun um, devil eggs. I hope to see you guys next Sunday. And again, if you like.